Hi, Jeff Katroop of Stratocast, a division of Frost & Sullivan. We're here at IBM Pulse 2011, and I'm here with Ina Kuznetsova. Everybody's talking about cloud, and oh, we all want to do cloud and capture the efficiencies and, and the flexibility, but a lot of people are kind of afraid of it as well. A lot of customers appreciate the advantages they can get from a cloud, the self-provisioning nature of the cloud, high level of utilization, high level of energy saving, but a lot of customers are also concerned. They're concerned about making one big step forward, one leap with their investments for an unknown set of results. Right. So the way we suggest our customers to think about it is not about as a leap, but as a journey. And map their way from wherever they are now, whether it's basic virtualization consolidation projects, or going further to become a better systems managed system or automate their workloads, and really map their journey evaluating return on investment at every step of the way. When you just virtualize, you save. When you apply systems management on top of that, you save more. Okay. And you can save your way through this journey, getting a more flexible system, improving your business agility, and getting closer to becoming cloud. Appreciate that. So are we talking not revolution, but evolution? And that's exactly. what you're trying to get them to, to exactly. think of it that way. Okay, good. All right. Well, talk to me about something else, another specific that sort of comes up when we talk about the virtualization. VMware. Got a big base of VMware customers out there. And so they might thinking, be thinking that they're doing pretty well in a lot of these areas, but what more does IBM really have to offer them at this point if they're already on VMware? If they have consolidated on VMware, they have already reaped a lot of benefits. They probably reduce their footprint, the utilization of their system is up, they reduce their energy consumption. Okay. However, by implementing the next step, by putting in a good systems management layer, they can save further. Research shows they can decrease the cost of running their system by over 30% right. just by implementing a good set of systems management. I appreciate that. One, because one of the other mechanics that comes out, and I think we've talked a little bit about this week, uh, about it this week, is people spending 75 or 80 percent of their IT budgets just operating, just scrambling to keep up. And and one of the things that we uh, talk about in our research is that one of the promises of IT is the opportunity to be the service provider to the enterprise. And so instead of providing all of those benefits, they're just busy scrambling and trying to keep up. And I think so. What you're what it seems like you're saying is that this can help them provide a systems management underpinning and a foundation or, or a baseline, if you will. When we talk to the CIOs around the globe, we find out that the budgets are where they were five, six years ago. The IT budgets do not go up. Yeah, or but declining now. Right, yeah, exactly. Hopefully, Good they, for are, you. The, hopefully yeah. they don't decline. <laughs> don't give me the bad news. But hopefully they are where they were in 2005. Right. Yet, about 60% of resources are spent on maintains, on keeping the lights out, and furthermore, the pressures from the business side are always going up. How can you integrate this new company we just bought faster? How you can deploy this new application? Oh, we heard about business analytics at IBM show, can we have that tomorrow and mine our retail data? <laughs> tomorrow, yes, right. So, <laughs> with more pressures to implement new things from the business side, and not being able to add more resources. The CIOs are under pressure to do more with less. And to do more with less, they have to do less of the routine, which means spend less resources on maintaining the system. And this is where virtualization and good systems management and storage virtualization help, because they can decrease the costs of running your system. I'll give you a very brief example. There is yes. a company right here at the show, JHY, a customer of ours. Yep. They have a small IT department of four people. Prior to installing systems management tools, they were spending 95% of their time just maintaining their system, managing life cycles, applying patches, doing backup and recovery. Systems management tools in, this time got down to 5%. Mm -hmm. So I'll ask you as a CIO, if you could double your IT department overnight, what would you do? <laughs> And I'll leave you with this question. Well, no, I really appreciate that. That's uh, great content and great discussion. And uh, I think we'll leave it at that. So I thank you so much. Uh, once again, Jeff Katroop of Stratocast, a division of Frost & Sullivan. And uh, we've been uh, talking here at IBM Pulse 2011 about virtualization, moving to the cloud in steps. Thank you, Jeff. Instead of all at once. Thank you for your time. Have a great uh, rest of the show. Appreciate the right. opportunity. Take care.